Hey folks, my name is Kess and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today we're going to be creating this fun photo shoot effect in Premiere Pro. When I was looking for photos to use for this tutorial, I found these really cute pictures of this old lady that I just love. It's giving me life. So that is what we're going to use today. Please make sure to download the camera flash sound effect in the description below. So we're in Premiere Pro. If we go into my assets folder here, you'll see I have three images. I'm going to go ahead and drag one of the images into the timeline. I'm going to right click change the speed and duration to two seconds. I'm going to drag it up a layer. I'm going to right click in the project bin, click new item, color mat, because we're going to put a white mat underneath this picture. Drag it to here to make it a white, press OK. I'm going to drag the white mat onto the timeline here. I'm going to make sure that it fits the exact length of the photo. Now on the photo itself, make sure it is selected. Go into effect controls and we're going to just scale it down to 97. So you can see that white border around the photo. Go ahead and play around with this border. You can make it bigger or smaller, whatever floats your boat. Now I want you to repeat this step for all three photos or however many photos you have. Okay, so we now have three sequences of different photos with the white border. Perfect. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and create a sequence. I made mine 1920 by 1080, and we're gonna just drag the pictures onto the timeline. So I'm gonna just select, hold down shift to select all of them. I'm gonna drag them all on, just like this. Just click keep existing settings, that's fine. Now I'm going to just adjust the size so that it fits the frame. So I can do that by highlighting these pictures, right clicking and hitting scale to frame size. I'm going to delete the audio because it's just not needed. So we have three photos on the timeline. We're going to add some movement. So starting with the first photo, make sure it is selected and under effect controls, change the scale to 93, set a keyframe. Change the rotation to four, set a keyframe, move the playhead a little bit across, and we're gonna set some more keyframes. We're gonna change the scale to 95, and we're gonna change the rotation to three. And then we're gonna drag these keyframes to the end. So let's take a look. So you can see it has that subtle movement here. Now moving on to the second one, we're gonna do something very similar. Make sure that the second picture is selected. Change the scale to 93. Make a keyframe. We're going to go in opposite direction. So instead of four, we're going to go negative four. Make a keyframe. Move the playhead across. Change that to 95. Change that to negative three. Drag these keyframes to the end. So you can see that goes the opposite direction. So for this last picture, I want pick three to be doing the exact same thing as pick one. So I can actually copy these keyframes. So if I select pick one and I hit command C, and then I select pick three, right click, paste attributes. We want to make sure all of these are selected and then we press OK. Then all the keyframes that were on pick one will be transferred to pick three. OK, this is what it looks like so far. So what's missing? The camera flashes and the camera sound. Let's do that now. So under the effects, we're gonna search for dip to white. And we're gonna drag this at the beginning, in the middle, right here. So drag them at the beginning of each picture. And then we're gonna adjust the length and we can do that by just double clicking the transition. And we're gonna make them all like this, and I'm just gonna copy this and then just paste it 
onto all of them. Last thing, remember that sound effect you downloaded? We're just gonna go ahead and drag that on to the timeline on the audio layer. So just drag it right here, drag it again here, drag it one more time here. And if I remember correctly, the sound is rather loud, so I'm just gonna highlight it, right click, and change the audio gain to negative 10. Now let's give it a watch. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. Have a great rest of your day, folks, and stay safe.